fire, 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 fire. I Fire. command them to the abyss. I command them to the abyss. I command them to the abyss. Say, so God Almighty, you are holy. God Almighty, you are holy. God Almighty, you are holy. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. You are you are glorious. You are glorious. You are glorious. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. You are God of Abraham. You are God of Abraham. You are God of Abraham. God of Isaac. God of Isaac. God of, God of Isaac. God of Jacob. God of Jacob. God of Jacob. I worship you. I worship you. I adore you. I adore you. I adore you. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. So Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. You are the Alpha. You are the Alpha. You are the Omega. The Omega. The King of Kings. The King of Kings. The Lords of Lords. The Lord of Lords. Wonderful. Counselor. Counselor. Mighty God. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Everlasting Father. Everlasting Father. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. The wonderful Holy Ghost. Wonderful Holy Ghost. Wonderful Holy Ghost. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. I open my heart. I open my heart. I open my spirit. I open my spirit. Teach me a word. Teach me a word. Reveal to me. Reveal to me. You are divine revelation. You are divine revelation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let us go straight to the word of God tonight. The Bible says that where two or three comes together in my name, Jesus said that there I am in their midst. And also tonight, Jesus Christ is here. The Holy Ghost is here. God Almighty is here. We are in the presence of God and we will have a privilege to go through the word of God together tonight. Let us go through the word of God from the book of 1 Peter chapter 1 verse number 23. For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of God. For all people are like grass, all their glory is like flowers of the field. The grass with us and the flowers fall. But the word of God of the Lord endures forever. This is the word that was preached to you. Like newborn babies crave for pure milk, milk, spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow up in salvation, in your salvation. Now that you have tested the Lord is good, as you come to him, the living stone, rejected by humans, but chosen by God and preachers to him. As a stone that come causes people to stumble and the rock that makes them to fall, they stumble because they disobey this, the message which is also which is also what they destined for. Then let us start very well from the book of First Peter chapter 1 verse number 23. For you have been born again not of perishable seed, but of imperishable through the living and enduring word of God. Wow. Can you say wow? Wow. Wow. The Bible is telling us that 
we have been born again not of perishable seed but of an imperishable seed through the living and enduring word of God what does that mean you know in salvation as the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God that's the day that you are saved and what made each and every one of us to be saved to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and our Savior it was the word of God that was preached to us that means as the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God that day we have heard the word of God and when we have heard the word of God we believe the word of God that's why that day and today we are saved Amen. that's what the Bible says you are Amen. not you know we were not born again out of perishable seed it was not because of the stories that we heard but we were born again because we have heard the word of God and once we have heard the word of God we believe the word of God Amen. And when we believe the word of God, we were saved. Amen. That's what the Bible said that, but of imperishable living word and enduring word of God. Amen. The word of God is, is a living word. Amen. The word of God is an enduring word. Amen. You know, Amen. Jesus said that even until the end of the world his word will not perish amen that means the word of amen. jesus christ will stand you know the end of time the word of god is not a temporary word because god says that in his word he is watching over amen. his word to be fulfilled God is watching his over to be fulfilled, watching over even the word of God. Amen. And the Bible says that for all people are like grass. All people are like grass. All their glories is like the flowers of the field. The grass with us and the flowers fall. You know, it is like Amen. the principles of men. The principles of men, the Bible says that they are like grass. And all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass with us and the flowers fall. But the word of God, the Bible says that in verse number 25, but the word of God of the Lord endures forever. And the Bible says, this is the word of God which was preached to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Bible, if somebody asks, when did God say this? When did God say this? You will find that there was a 2,000 years ago not even more than 2,000 years ago. Jesus Christ came here and lived more than 2,000 years ago. And he has said his word more than 2,000 years ago. Not talking about what God has said in the Old Testament. But even though, you know, technology changed, even though times change the word of God remains the same and the word of God remains relevant Amen. whereas certain principles Amen. and certain things that men have invented long time ago due to the, to the time they become irrelevant 
But the word of God, because it's not the word of men, it's the word of God, is forever relevant. Amen. It's forever applicable. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is Amen. why the word of God is saying that. Is the word of the Lord Amen. that endures forever. Amen. That w- the word of God is forever relevant. Amen. That's why if I have to advise anybody, if anybody can ask me today, which book can I refer anybody to study? If somebody is asking, I want to study the book. Which book can you refer me to study? I will say that out of the book that I have heard of and that I have studied, study the word of God. Amen. Study the word of God because Amen. it's not the word of men. Amen. Otherwise, if it's the word of men, all people are like grass. All their glories is like the flowers of the field. The grass with us and the flowers fall. Amen. But the word of the Lord endures forever. Amen. It's forever relevant. Amen. The word of Amen. God does not expire. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says that in the book of Joshua chapter 1. Let us read from verse number 7. Be strong and be very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you, so that do not turn it from it to the right or to the left, that you may be successful wherever you go. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Amen. This is the word God have said. This was when God was talking to Joshua that God was saying that keep this book of the law always on your lips. Amen. Meditate on it day and night and once you have done so you will be able to practice what it talks about and the Bible says once you practice what it talks about the Bible says that Jesus said that the word of God is saying that God saying that then you are going to be prosperous then you are going to be successful Because the word of God is the one of the only book that when you study it, no matter where you are, the author of it and the one who have said it can be where you are studying it with you. And when you practice it, the one who have said it will be there to make sure that whatever that you are practicing, if it's what he have said and according to his word and according to the word of God, you will make sure that it is fulfilled. Amen. Amen. Then that's why studying the word of God, meditating upon the word of God, it's one of the best things that you can do for yourself. Amen. Than to waste your time studying many other books. Because God said that to the book of Jeremiah chapter 1. Verse number 12. God said to Jeremiah. The Lord said to me, you have seen correctly. I am watching to see that my word is fulfilled. God said, you have seen correctly. God is watching for his word to be what? To be fulfilled. That means God Amen. is watching for those who Amen. are meditating upon his word. Amen. God is watching on those who are practicing his word. Amen. And making sure that as they meditate, 
as they practice, they get what the word of God talks about. Amen. And the Bible says that in the book of Matthew chapter Matthew chapter 7. Hallelujah. Amen. Say fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire. I love the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. I'm enjoying the word of God. The Bible says that therefore anyone who hears these words of mine and put them into practice is like a is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the stream rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. Amen. Then the Bible is saying that anyone who listened to the word of God who study the word of God after studying that word of God and practice it and put into practice the Bible says that person is like a wise man who have built his house on top of the rock Amen. the Bible says that come what come may come no matter what kind of challenge that comes their way Jesus Christ said that because they've built their life, they've built their career, they've built their things upon the word of God. Whatever that they've built, it will stand the taste of time. Amen. It will stand Amen. any challenge. Amen. It will stand any problem. Amen. Because it has been built on the word of God which God is watching to make sure that that word is fulfilled. Amen. You know, then those who are wise are those who study the word of God. Amen. Those who are wise are those who meditate upon the word of God and after studying it, practicing it. Amen. Because once they've practiced it, the Bible says that word of God is not an ordinary word. Amen. The Bible says that this word of God is the word of the Lord that he endures forever. Amen. Amen. It's the word of God. Which material it is as if you are using, you are building your house on top of the rock. You are building your, your house, your life, your career on top of what? On top of the rock. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says that in verse number 26, but everyone who hears these words of mine, everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish Man who built his house on top of the sand. Amen. The rain came down, the stream rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it fell with a great crash. Amen. Now somebody may be saying that, you know, they don't want to use the word of God, they don't use the Bible, they don't want to use the Bible to build their life to build their career to build their things but the challenge is going to be the day eh? it's going to be the day that challenges come the Bible says the wind eh? when the wind comes and beat against that house the problem will be the rain when the rain comes and beat against that house that house will fall with what? with a great crash Amen. Amen. The problem will be the test of time. As the time goes by, 
will realize over time, whatever that they've used, the wisdom of men is no longer relevant. It's not able to hold over time. But child of God, if you build your life, you build your career, the Bible says, the word of God endures forever. It can stand over time. The Bible says, even if it's your life your life will stand even over the challenges of life Amen. it will stand over the storms of life Amen. because if you Amen. build it with the word and you practice after when you were practicing the word it will stand Amen. Because you have got the foundation, what? In the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. What does that tell us? What does that tell you? Practice the word. Amen. Meditate upon the word. Amen. Against all the odds. Amen. Don't get tired. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, oh Holy Spirit. Oh Holy Spirit. Oh, help me to practice the word. Help me to practice the word. Make, Make me to become a word practitioner. Make me to become a word practitioner. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Help me to practice the word. Help me to practice the word. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Begin to pray, begin to pray. Arriva shon talibra son toloboshian dalaba. Man toloboshian daraba. Mandaraba son toloboshian daraba. Man kabashan toloboshian dalaba. Man karabashan toloboshian daraba. Manta bazan, bazan tulubu. Manta bazan tulubu shanda laba. Mete mese kere bashanda raba. Manda raba yanda raba yanda raba. Manta bazan tulubu. Manta tulubu shanda raba baba. Manta raba Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, I command them to the abyss. I command them to the abyss. Anything which is not of God. Anything which is not of God. In my life. In my life. In my body. In my body. In my career. In my career. In our country. In every sector of my life. In every sector of my life. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. I command them. I command them. Come out. Come out. 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 Say I command. I command. Everything to turn around for my good. Everything to turn around for my good. So let there be progress. Let there be progress. Progress.
progress, progress. So let there be miracle job, miracle job. Say all is well, all is well in my life, in my family, in my in every sector of my life. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, you are my Lord, you are my Savior, wash me with your blood, forgive me my sins, bless me today, protect me from today, protect me from today, with your power, with your power, of the Holy Spirit, of the Holy Spirit, from today, from today, I am born again, I am born again, I am saved, I am saved, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want to say to us tonight, may God bless you. Have a blessed and a wonderful night in Jesus' name. Bye bye, everybody. Have a blessed morning, day, and afternoon, and night. Amen. Bye bye. Bye.